And now for something completely different. <laughs> this is some silliness that I call in my genes. I recently joined up on Ancestry.com to learn a few things about my dad and my mom. I wanted to learn about my family history. My folks never said much. They kept it a mystery. I did all the research, built my family tree, and slowly it became quite apparent to me. There's a trait that runs through one side of my genes, and I have to admit I'm not sure what it means. I'll give you examples of some things that I've learned, then perhaps you could tell me if my alarm has been earned. It all started with Hannah, who came here from Aaron, the servant of a lord and lady proved barren. But she was sipped off to the States along with her kin when it was discovered the shape she was in. But she married a Scotsman she met on the way, and they had 18 more kids without any delay. <laughs> Their oldest girl, Mabel, she headed out west with nothing but corset round her ample hope chest. Before long, she charmed all the boys in the town without even once having owned a proper ball gown. But at one point, she owned the saloon and hotel and had everyone calling her madam as well. When great-grandma Ethel lived out on the prairie, she worked hard through the day with the eggs and the dairy. But late in the evening, I was quite shocked to learn it was great-grandpa Roy who was working her butter churn. It was said they'd take turns dashing away through the night. Oh, it was said they'd take turns each dashing away until exhausted they'd then fall asleep in the hay. In the 50s, their Mary worked off a steno pool, and boy did she know how to keep it real cool. She made the girls giggle, took notes for the men. Her fingers were deft and not just with a pen. But she always claimed she was never alone, as long as she had her dictaphone. My mom was a hippie, a true flower child. She lived in the 60s, cut loose, and went wild. The story she had could make you all blush. Free sex and free drugs, it was all a big rush. It was worth all the money I paid to the site to confirm that my dad is my father all right. And so now you see, dear listeners and readers, I come from this long line of quite successful breeders. I worry I've inherited this awful condition, and I feel I should make some active contrition to prove to you all I don't have to be exactly like my legacy. I'm not a product of what my ancestors did. That sort of thing can't be inherited. After all, it really wouldn't be that smart to stand up here and proclaim I'm half tart. I'd hate to think you judge me that way. That's really all I came here to say. I swear you're all safe from my wanton libido. I just wasn't born with that kind of ego. I'm totally harmless, like kittens or flowers. I'm not harboring any secret sexual powers. I came here quite helpless and totally alone, but I do need someone to give me a ride home. <laughs>